Alrighty guys, what's up? Another day in paradise here in sunny Florida, but it's not very sunny today. All overcast the clouds coming in. Miss Daisy just told me, you got rain coming. I said, bring it on, baby. Bring it on. I'll work bees in the rain. I don't care. Anyway, I'm trying to work... <sighs> Coming up with a little different strategy. Miss Daisy yesterday, she said, man, it took you a long time to put together three nukes out there. Are you, get, are you getting old and slow in your old age? I said, well, I am getting old, but uh, yeah, probably am slowing down, but uh, I don't know. She said, isn't there a better way to do that? I said, you got to find the queens, right, before you transfer them over and yada, yada. And she said, isn't there a better way? And so all of a sudden my little, you know, my little pea brain started working. It's kind of like a shorted out arc welder in my brain, you know, it just kind of zzz, 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 zzz. Anyway, and then the light bulb came on. I said, you know, there is. Well, what is that? She says. I said, I just, I don't know. I'm just th thinking out loud here. I said, uh, I think there is a better way. I said, that's way too time consuming. She said, last time I checked, I, she said, uh, time is money. Time is money, Steve-O. I said, yeah, well, you probably learned that when you were in the restaurant business. She had a uh, restaurant up in, uh, she didn't, her folks did, up in uh, Houghton Lake, Michigan. Yeah, maybe you guys have been there before. It was called the Tamarack. It's no longer there. They took it apart. They moved the logs. Some lodge or something moved and got the logs out of it and moved it somewhere else. And But it was around forever. Her folks owned that forever, sold it, and the new people came in. They couldn't run it for crap. And so they had to come back and retake it over and get it going again. And then they finally sold it and got out of Dodge. But anyway... She said, yeah, time is money, numb nuts. I said, what did you just call me? She said, well, you just, you know. I said, man, you're really hurting my feelings. I said, I realized I had my prostate out, but my, my nuts are still working good. She said, I apologize for that. I apologize. I said, I may have to prove it to you later on. She said, then I saw the eye roll. You know, you guys get the eye roll whenever you mention stuff like that, you know. I'm going to show you later on how they work. And she said, oh, God. I said, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Now. No, I'm not going to hurt your feelings. Yeah, we can see if they're working later if you want to, she said. Isn't that something, guys? Isn't that something? Anyway, back to, back to my strategy with my shorted out arc welder. Okay, let me open this door. It's getting hot. It's getting hot as Hades here. Summer's here, guys. I mean, summer is here. It's going to be kicking my ass. It does. It seems like it gets worse every year on the old boy, but you got to just keep on getting it, guys. Just got to keep on getting it on, you know? But here's my thought. Most of these colonies, when I'm going in, what I like to do is if you've got a double or a triple or even four, five framers stacked up that's basically all i fool with anymore because of my old wore out back i'm not humping those hundred pound boxes anymore full of honey no we're not playing that stupid game anymore so all we do is try to sell bees sell nukes right but this thing of finding queens is a pain especially if you've got say four four two or three or even four five framers stacked up you got full of bees and you're going to start harvesting your nukes in february at least we do here in florida end of february and so you got to go in and find them queens well i want to retain enough if i can go in there and evaluate that queen she looks good because she should be good if she's worth her salt I mean, she's only going to be a year old because I've changed out all my queens annually. All of them get 
wiped out. We're not running. I'm mean, granted a queen can last maybe five years, but you're going to get your most bang for your buck out of a queen in, in that first year, okay? But she'll be fine to sell on a nuke for the next guy, you know? She's still viable. She's still cranking it on. She may be a little swarmy, you know? She, she fills out. you got to keep an eye on these things, guys. If they start filling them out, uh, you got to keep an eye on these things. And if you go if you go in there and you see swarm cells, and they'll be at the bottom of the frame, supersede your cells. Like if they kill a queen or whatever, you know, sometimes they're in the center of the frame. But those swarm cells are big old peanuts like that, and they'll be dangling on the bottom usually. Take those out, bees and all, and transfer over to another box. Right there. Make sure she's not on there. Your queen. Otherwise, you're defeating the whole purpose here of this thing. Make sure she's not on there. And then transfer that frame and maybe one other frame over to uh, another box. Or, or even give them th three frames if you can. If you can afford it, three frames. And then if you got a five-frame box, put two planes in there. Put the lid on and ship it to another bee yard, at least five miles away. Or if you're on site... Make sure you have a screen bottom board in that hive. We don't want any suffocation issues. And then shut the door on it. Get you some quarter inch staples. I got a T50 nailer, a uh, stapler, and I get quarter inch nails. I cut. I keep some eighth inch screen on, on standby. You can get it on Amazon. Get you a roll. It's three foot by 10 foot. That goes a long way. Get that and take 10 snips and snip you out some entrance screens and just two staples, boom, the front entrance is shut down, right? You want to come back in three days and, and open that thing up and let them fly because after having the three days, they're going to forget where they came from, you know? Like Joe, he forgets where, well, Joe is like, you know, he has an ice cream cone and then he turns around and he, he forgets where he's at or even what state he's in, right? So anyway, let's not talk about him because our blood pressure will shoot to the sky. So anyway, yeah, uh, lock them down for three days. Put your swarm cells over here. Swarm cells, guys, make the best doggone queens. I mean, they're great big queens, and them bees know how to do it. You know, they know how to do it. And they're a lot better crafters than we are. I mean, let's face it. So even with these walkaway splits I do, they are doing all the grafting for me. I don't do any grafting. But the trick is, on walkaways, you must feed. You must feed them. And I, back in the day, I would feed them. I would feed them even though I, had a, I was on a major honey flow, like if I just moved into, say, oranges, orange, orange uh, groves. And the bloom has already popped, and you open the truck door, and wham, this perfume hits you like a ton of bricks. Man, does that smell good. Them orange trees. Oh, God, guys, that is so good. Even though I'd be on a heavy flow like that, that's just a bonus thing. But put that feeder on there. Give them a jar of sugar water, at least for the first, you know, ten, five days at least, till they seal that cell up, that queen cell up, and you're doing a walk away, say, you're doing a walk-away split. So anyway, um, yeah, I was sitting there. Miss Daisy says, uh, after she called me, no, I'm not. Uh, I said, you know, now that you, you know, you had to say that to me to get my brain working, my shorted out brain working, and there is a better way. And I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. I mean, guys, come on. I've been watching Joe for so long, you know, I'm starting to lose it. But here's what I came up with, and maybe you'll like this, maybe you won't. What I'll do, it's a two-day process we're going to go for here. I went on, before I left the house, I went on, I told Miss Daisy what I wanted to buy. She said, well, go out there and see if, I've got, we're a Prime customers. Go on Amazon Prime and see if you've got your goodies there, and I'll order it. Okay, so I did. And what I found out there is some Man Lake Honey Robber. Now, there's a few other. You just type in Honey uh, honey Robber on your thing, and it'll pop up. And there's several things. And Man Lake had a product. It was only 8 ounces, but I don't need much. I don't need a, I'm not a commercial honey guy anymore. So all I need is a little spritz bottle. And what I'll do 
we're going to remove all those bees. We're going to we're going to go in there first of all and evaluate that colony to see if I want to sell that queen. If I do, I want her butt downstairs, okay? And what I'll do, those honey supers are on top. I will move up a frame of eggs up there, all right? And maybe depending on what's downstairs. I may move if I do this in February, there's going to be a lot of honey up there. I can move that frame of honey down there where I'm pulling this one up from the bottom or two frames up from the bottom and stick up top, okay? Establish that first. Get get what you're going to need. You need some eggs, right? And the, the good thing would be is get a lot of sealed brood with eggs. Sealed brood, a ton of sealed brood. And if you can move up, I don't suggest in a five moving up two because you're going to be robbing too much from downstairs for your selling nuke. All right. We're trying to, it's trying to get a selling nuke, nuke we can sell, but we want to do a walk away at the same time. So we're going to pull up eggs, resource, and put them up top. All right. Now what we're going to do. I'm going to take a piece of probably three quarter. I got some, and the size of the of the hive. All right, and I'm going to cut on my table saw a little three quarter by three quarter, probably three quarter by half, three quarter wide by by half inch thick strips. And I'm going to run a strip right around the whole lid on the underside. I've got a bunch of them. Miss, I'm going to steal some of Miss Daisy's terry towels. And I'm going to take terry towels in the inside, inside where I put that lip around, three-quarter lip around. I'm going to staple some terry towels, some quarter-inch staples down there. So I've got fabric underneath that lid, okay? You can do it by just stapling. I did it back in the day in a quickie. Just staple some cloth. Hell, like heck, I haven't ripped a t-shirt off. Oh, 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 I should give me, who's got an extra t-shirt? I forgot my fume boards and took a lid and I always had my stapler and I grab a lid and who's got an, well, I got a nice t-shirt. Give me that sucker. No, you can't have my good t Give me the t-shirt. We got to have fume boards. Okay, Steve. Oh, here's your t-shirt. And I'd staple that to a, a lid. All right. And then we put Bego. And that Bego back in the day, there was a couple kinds. And one smelled like uh, cherries, uh, cherries, and the other one smelled like dog turds. And I ended up with the dog turd stuff. It was nasty. And you didn't want to leave it on your honey long because it'll start having your honey smell like a dog turd. How pleasant is that? This stuff I got coming, guys, I don't know what it smells like. I really don't care. All I need to do is chase, use it to chase bees. And what we'll do is once we establish, get our resources up top that we're going to need, right? And then we'll put everything, leave everything downstairs. We're not looking for queens. We're not spending a bunch of wasted time here looking for queens. Miss Daisy said time is money. We're not wasting time looking for queens. All we need to do is see what she's doing. What is she doing? Is she good layer? It is, you know, what's her pattern like? That's what we're looking for. So we know what she's capable of doing, but we, we want to sell that box and we want to make another one just like her. All right. And that takes 30 days, guys, 30 days for that whole process. And if you have bad weather come in, when she's supposed to be getting mated, she may be say you got a three day frog choker. You may have to you may now you you may come back in thirty days and peek in that box. Hey, nothing's happening here. There's no egg laying going on. Don't but you, you look at your bees, are they chilling? Bees that don't have a queen are gonna be nervous and they're humming. They're like buzzing. Well if they're all chilling, say there's a queen in there. There's no eggs in there, but there's a queen in there. So walk away for another three days or so. Come back and check that box again. I guarantee you're going to see eggs in that box. So anyway, so what we'll do is establish, like I said, the, the box up here that we're going to keep on site. All right. 
So say if I'm at this yard we're in now, I've only got two colonies behind us. We're going to go in these things and look them over and see if they're if there's anything going on. If it, you know these 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 boxes just may be thrown on the truck here or just I may just just leave them here. And if there's a bad queens in here, we're going to crush them, and I'll come back and, and give them some good eggs from good colonies. Uh, or I got some virgins coming. I got some cells coming where we can start installing some virgins. Uh, direct release with some sugar water with a little vanilla extract in there. And we spritz the bees and we spritz open a cage and she walks out. We spritz her just a little, not much, a little, and let her walk down and shut the lid and come back and come back in uh, three weeks uh, when you're installing virgins. If you're installing a mated queen, you could come back, do it the same way. I've installed hundreds of Queen, mated queens guys hundreds of mated queens I don't need to let them chew out of the candy cage and this and that and have them get stuck in there you're taking a $30, $25, $30 queen and come back in uh, a week's time and there she is dead in a friggin cage no, spritz all the bees so everybody smells the same with this vanilla sugar water on them and then you know, she goes in uh, they'll clean everybody gets cleaned up lick clean and then by then she smells the same and she gets going to work She starts laying eggs. So yeah, what we'll do is just Chase all the with the, now be careful with this fume this bego stuff. Don't just slap it on tight Put it on but leave a gap on the end about that much Smoke them good smoke them good don't blow torch them just puff them back a little bit and put this on but leave a gap in there because what will happen if you get too nuts with this bego honey robber stuff they'll get overwhelmed they get drunk and they're just uh, uh, wow it just hits them and they're so stupid they don't even they can't even get out of there but you you leave a gap and they're going holy crap what is this and they start rushing guys they start going downstairs they're clearing out all them boxes you got upstairs. They're clearing out, and they're hauling butt downstairs. And you can chase every bee in them hives out. Even if push them down the bottom ones, they're in the bottom, where the queen is, more than likely. But she could be up here. Push everybody down. A lot of them start boiling out the front end. Keep an eye on it. You don't, don't just keep it on there. Do you boil everybody out of the hive? No, that's not good. That ain't good. Just make sure until, keep checking, you keep looking in there to have a flashlight, whatever, look in and crack it loose, look down in there. Make sure them bees are cleared out. At least 99% of them, 95% of them out of there. And then you can rifle through them frames and make sure there's no bees up there when you're done. When that's accomplished, get that fume board off of there. Pry up that that bottom section that thing and slide an excluder in there then put them boxes back on right shut the lid say bye bye for 24 hours by then all them bees will come back up into that brood and eggs that you left up, up top okay now when you come back the next day Take an extra box with you, because what's up here is supers. You don't have a bottom chamber, a floorboard, or nothing in that. So, peel off all them boxes, set them over here. Take the bottom box that's got your queen in it now, okay? You don't even need to go in there and look for her. She's in there, all right? Plug that, plug that entrance, set it on your truck, shrink wrap it haul it away haul it to your other bee yard or you can leave it on site with a plugged entrance for three days and then come back all right now you have a nuke that's ready to sell that you never even found the queen for you never even looked for the queen you don't need to put an eye on her you know she's in the damn box so she's ready to sell now put a date on the one put your new box down all right you're going to have to transfer frames on at least one of those boxes. You may only have one, maybe in twos or threes, whatever. Take that one and transfer those frames into your new bottom. 
the bottom one now was on your truck. You're going to put another one in its place because you've got field force coming in like crazy. See, they're all out. You can do this middle of the day. They're all coming in. They're coming right to that point. They're coming right to that box. They smell that box. They know that's there. That's their baby. You're going to move this box now, all the frames out of it, on into that box. Shake off the box bees that are in that box. Throw it on your truck. Now take the other boxes, whatever you got left, put on there, right? Put a date on that top. You're going to come back in 30 days and look for that new virgin, look for that new laying queen in there. At the end of 30 days, you should have a laying queen in that box. And you can do this all over again. Just keep going with it. See if you don't have the resources. Say if you don't have two or three stacked up, no big deal. Hopefully, she'll have that five framer you put down there fattened up to where you can go in there and rob one or two, whatever. You can, if you had a bunch of these nukes, you can go and rob one out of each one and throw those. Make sure your queen ain't on there. Take bees and all, brood and all, and set up a nuke. And all you do is need three frames in a five frame nuke. You need two frames of solid, try to get solid brood. If you can, with just a few eggs, get two of those, bees and all, and insert in a box that you're going to steal, and then add one frame of honey and pollen, if you can, and then two frames plain on the outside. Put a lid on that, shrink wrap it down, and ship that to your next location. Leave the one there on site. Leave that one on site, and... That's the way you go with it, guys, and uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. So anyway, uh, oh, the pit bull's coming to see me. That little pit bull, she's all mouth. She's all mouth. Here she comes, she's coming over to check me out. All right, guys, it's, getting, it's not getting any cooler here. So that's the plan. Uh... Hopefully here in a day or two we'll do this to see how see how well it works. I don't see any reason why it won't work very nicely to where we don't have to fool around looking for queens. Or yes, there's those division boards, those double screen boards, and all that. Yeah, you can do that too. Uh, to where I, I see Bob Benny does that a lot. He's got. Bob Benny's got a heck of a big crew. I'm telling you, that guy's got a large operation. And he um, uses those double screen boards a lot, from what I see from his operation. So that is cool. Uh, but for us little one-man show deals, you know, uh, we don't we don't need... Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is, is I think it'll work out fine. It'll be simple. It's going to be the KISS system. Keep it simple, stupid. So, all right. Let's peek in a hive here and see exactly what we have. I have no clue what we got going on here. This may be garbage. I don't know. I brought extra I brought extra syrup to put on them if need be. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. I see the sun just broke out to make things hotter. So, let's get into it. Hey guys, check this out. This little, this little single here. Look at this. See, now this one happened to be, I made this one up a month ago. And it's ready to sell. And check out the pattern on it now. Yeah. Check out the pattern on it. Went and put my thumb in there. I got honey running. I'll clean that right up. But look at that. I mean, this thing, this thing's ready to go, guys. She's ready to go. Yes, sir, guys. She's ready to go. 
all I got to do now, all I got to do now here is, uh, you know, if I had, see this, this is, this is only second year queen, I mean the next, this was 20, 2022 queen in here, all right. Actually, no, I'm lying to you. This is a 23 queen because I set this thing up a month over a month ago. Look at them boiling up here now, coming up to see old Steve O. $120 nuke, guys. $120 nuke. Bring my box back and I give you 20 bucks back. Yes, sir. I don't need to find this queen. I've already seen eggs in here, I've already seen a brood pattern I like for sale so i can leave this set here when the phone rings i can come over here plug this entrance it can happen in the middle of the day i'll leave one hive here and all these field bees will get into this hive because they're going to come back loaded you know with nectar pollen whatever these guys over here will let them in so you're not going to lose any bees so I'm going to put a beetle barn on here, and I'm going to put an amitraz towel on here, just for giggles, all right? Won't hurt a thing. And then we'll go into this hive and see what we got. All righty, guys. Now, in this situation here, we've got one ready to sell, and I put a jar of food on just to pump them up a little bit. Uh, right here, this one here in that top, a queen started laying in here. There's no sealed brood or nothing, but she started laying. She got a small patch of brood. We're going to leave this thing alone for two weeks. I'm going to put food on it and feed it. Seems to have a good population of bees. A lot of honey up here. A lot of resources, pollen. The thing is looking good. So that's cool. We'll come back in two weeks and check this hive. And I'll put a mark on the top. They're chilled out. These bees are very chilled, so this colony. I have made some excellent queens in this yard over here, and it's only five five miles from my home, from base camp. So I threw some amdro. This place has a bad habit of bull ants and these scrub oaks. It's a scrub oak forest here, and a lot of bull ants or carpenter ants. So I threw a lot of amdro around this pallet. I have a stand over there we can utilize. I've got one here. Uh, the man don't want too many hives over here. He said five is all he wanted me to do. I said, that's fine. So don't push your luck, you know? Do what the owner will let you do. Don't piss anybody off. So we'll come back in two weeks and check this. Keep feeding it. And we'll see where we're at. So that's it for today, guys. Stay with old Steve-O. We're going to keep on getting on and um, making them bees. It's going to be fun all summer long. See ya.